There is an American myth about a young outlaw named Billy the Kid. It said he had a notch on his gun for every year of his life, adding up to 21. At a quarter after one this afternoon, Daniel Keeling, filled with love and hate, went through the house and tore up every picture of his dead father. He left the torn pieces on the floor for his mother to find when she came home with her boyfriend. They came home at a quarter to three. I only saw her passing by, but I will love her till I die. Two days ago, Marie Mariani, age 26 and feeling every minute of it, took her pride in her hands and dialed the number of a boy she hadn't seen in 10 weeks. Now she's on her way to meet him, six o'clock in front of Cooper Union. So much for pride. Danny. Oh, Danny, will you for Pete's sake put some clothes on? Now, what are you standing in front of the window for? You want everybody to see you like that? I'm watching someone. Yeah? Who? A girl. Surprised? Don't you ever let any air in here. Chuck's here. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, let joy reign unconfined. Are you going to get dressed, or aren't you? Anything to please you, Mommy. Oh, wait outside, please. You're old enough to know the meaning of modesty. Look, the feature goes on in 20 minutes. Now, you like to be in on the beginning, don't you? I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Make it snappy, yeah, will you? Yeah. He's a nice looking guy, your husband. You know how to pick him, don't you? He'll be ready in a minute. I told him we were going to Radio City Music Hall. Now, there's just one thing I want you not to do, Chuck, and that's anything to hurt him, do you hear? And what happens if all of a sudden, in the middle of traffic, he blows his top? I'll take care of him. We'll sit in the back, you just drive. That kook. You should have had him put away long ago. Years ago. Not wait till he kills somebody. That poor little girl. He almost twisted her arm off. She's a rotten little tease. Who told her to take up with him in the first place? He's a perfectly normal boy, as long as you don't... What? Rattle his cage? Watch it. Honey, you're gonna have to face up to one fact. Your Danny boy ain't like other little boys. You just be sure you tell him that when we get him down to Bellevue. What, what Danny? Hey, kid, Where the feet you're gonna take me to, huh? Lock me up in Bellevue. Oh, Danny, it's only for observation. I wouldn't commit you, honey. I swear I wouldn't commit you, honey. I swear. This is the feet it's you're gonna for... take me to, huh? <laughs> Danny Keeling, the desire to kill has been boiling for a long time. So has the desire to love. Look, 
was just a little excited when he called you. He, he didn't really mean to. It, it was uh, purely a, a personal quarrel. You, you know what I mean? Uh, like more of an accident than anything else. Doctor, what kind of a wound is that? Scalp laceration. Possible concussion. We can't tell until we take the x-rays. Now look, miss, something happened here. We want to know what it was. Now, all we want to do is file a missing persons report on my son, Danny Keeling, uh, five foot ten, dark eyes. How long has he been missing? Oh, about half a... half a day. Did your son do that? Yeah. What time did they call you, Doc? About 25 minutes ago. Mm, fresh injury. Are you the boy's father? Are you kidding? Well, look, he saw us kissing, see, and he, and he got a little jealous. That's what happened. Right, honey? Did he do this? Who is that? His father. Why did he do that? He said he wanted to help me forget. Has he ever done anything like this before? <laughs> Brother, you want to ask some of the neighbors. Like what, for instance? Nothing. Now, listen, miss, if your son is capable of this kind of violence, you just don't sweep it under a carpet. If you want to help him, you'll help us to locate him. I don't want him to have a police record. You want to wait until he gets into real trouble? Well, look, any sensitive kid is capable of violence if he's provoked to it. How was he provoked? I'll tell you how a stupid, miserable, kooky little... He, he made some lousy crack about how Danny was backward socially. Well, you know, like with the opposite sex and... Well, lots of kids mature late, don't they? You want to know why he got mad? She wanted me to con him and to let us take him down to Bellevue, to the psycho ward. Well, just for observation, see? Observation, I... my foot. Once they got him locked up down there, they'd take the key and tie it to a wild rabbit. Why do you say that? Do you ever know a kid who goes to sleep every night with a knife under his pillow? Frank, see if you can find a picture of him in there, will you? Yeah. Yeah, use the telephone, please. Hello, this is Flint. Let me speak to Lieutenant Parker. Mike, Adam, listen, Frank and I have an assault. Suspect ran away about half an hour ago. Yeah, I was a young fellow. He attacked his mother's boyfriend. But just a minute, I'll get a description for you. Hold on. Honey, it might be the best thing that ever happened. Frank, you able to find... Oh, good. What about the knife? I know you. you. You probably don't remember me. Um, I, I used to see you around school sometimes. Morris High. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember I, I voted for you once as secretary of the student council. Oh. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry you lost the election. Thanks, I got over it. Uh, you, you used to live around uh, Cortona Park East. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to hang around your house night sometimes. I never got up enough nerve to... Well, you were older than me, you know. We never had any classes together or anything. How old are you now? Around 26, huh? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I've got a change here for the uptown bus. Yeah, me too. Excuse me. Have you ever noticed how it's all the wrong people got the cars and money and luck with women and everything, huh? Oh, I don't know. Oh, boy, I wish I owned a gun. <laughs> what would you do with it? Change human nature? No, just a little gun, you know? You keep right under your armpit, a little leather holster. 
Oh, no, I wouldn't hurt anybody. No, I didn't mean that. But, but say I was with a girl, you know, and some big gorilla comes up and tries to, well, you know, take liberties. I shove it right up under his nose quick, huh? Hey, uh, how far are you going? Cooper Union. Oh, yeah? Well, what, are you going to do, some kind of research or something? I'm meeting somebody out front. Well, uh, a fella? What sort of guy makes you wait in the street like a, like a cheap girl, huh? You know. It's all right. Yeah, why? Why is it all right? Because I called him, all right? Oh, yeah, I thought a girl wasn't supposed to do that sort of thing. You know, I mean, self-respect and all that. Look, do you mind if we change the subject? But, I mean, you're not a cheap girl, are you? You, you, you don't look like a cheap girl. I'm... Thank you. She's always meeting him in the street. Oh, my mom. Uh, like, she's very careful about my feelings, you know? Like, I'm not supposed to know. Please. You could loan me for the subway, Nick. Yeah, he showed up one day to fix a television set. Who? She'd just come back from the beauty parlor, all horse stuff. They took one look at each other and bingo, just like that. He didn't charge for fixing the set anyway. <laughs> you know, if, if, if I had a girl, I wouldn't let you wait around in the street like some kind of... Look, 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 look. The, the boy goes to law school at night, so what am I supposed to do, cut off my nose? No, I mean, I, I, I cherish you and, and, and protect you. Hey! Is that all the money you've got? You can't get on the subway for nickel anymore. Fifteen cents. Do you want another dime? Hmm. Where are you going? My daughter, in Long Island. Where in Long Island? I was just fired from my job. Oh. Just like that? I took care of the children. One familia for years. But the new baby was too hot for me. Wake up at night a hundred times crying. So they tell me, go home. You're too old to boy. Uh, couldn't you call your daughter to come and pick you up? It's maybe too far for her. Too far to come for a mother? Hey! 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 You have to go someplace in a hurry, and I'm keeping you. Uh, rush, 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 rush. So I'll be an old maid a half hour later. I was going to think you stood him up. Well, I waited for him enough times. What time was your date? Six o'clock. Not going to make it now. I thought that was your bus, too. Well, I, I got all night. I, I may not even go home at all, I don't know. I make them nervous at home, you know. I used to ask myself, how come every day in the papers you read about a nice, quiet kid, suddenly he goes wild and for no reason kills five people? Well, believe me, it's never for no reason. There's always some people who saw it coming on, and sometimes for years. Only who can you go to until it actually happens? What are you telling him? He's a cop. Look, he's writing everything down. Do you know what you're doing to the kid? Well, he should be put away. I said that last week when he... Uh, all right, forget it. What happened last week? A family name of Burns living down a block. A cute little daughter. Kind of a... kind of a tease. Well, one night he caught her coming home from... from the subway. And first he twists her arm like a corkscrew and then he, then he puts her into a big cardboard box and throws garbage on top of her. But he didn't mean to hurt her. 
He, he just didn't know when to stop. He's a murderer! Did his mother tell you about the summer after his father died when, she, when he went to camp? No, nah, she wouldn't have. He came home a week early. Why? He used to be a big kid there. And he used to make fun of Danny, you know? Well, one day, that kid was found drowned in the lake. It's a funny kind of an accident that happened to the best swimmer in camp. Well, what's your son-in-law's name? Kratz. Uh, Kratz. Well, I don't know. A name something like that. You don't know your own son-in-law's name? You think she asked me? Why should I call him by his name? That's common. He once in his life called me mama. My husband. See, my husband should look down from heaven and see what we've come to. Look, you've done what you could. Now, come on. You don't have to kill yourself. You want some? No, no. Look, lady, uh, it's getting late. Don't you even know where your daughter lives? Maybe I recognize the house. The address, I don't remember. Well, didn't you go there on your days off? I should go where they don't want me, no. An old woman shouldn't be born. Well, uh, don't you have any friends around here that you could stay with overnight? Friends? In the cemetery, I got friends. She can sleep in the subway. I've done it lots of times. They don't bother you unless you're drunk. Um, look, do you want me to take you to a hotel? I stayed once in a hotel. In a fine hotel in Krakow. Look, lady, I've, I've got to take the next bus. I, I, I can't leave a boy standing in the street. He won't wait for me. He, he's liable to think I, I, I did it just to humiliate him. No, they, they introduced me a man. He's got so much lumber that he could build a fence around the four corners of the earth. But I wouldn't marry him. He's too old for me. I was a young girl, mm, and pretty, like you. Come on, take her to the police station or something. Let them worry. I mean, she, she, she's not your mother. You're going to get stuck with her. Three dollars and change. I'm supposed to go to the bank at lunchtime. Well, what are you going to do? All right, let's get a cab. Come on. this old woman in the street. What do you mean, in the street? Lying in the street? Standing. Yes. And she doesn't seem to know where she lives. So? Well, don't you have facilities for taking care of somebody like that? All right, if you just wait a minute, we'll check with missing persons, and maybe oh, we can... Look, 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 all she needs is a place to put her head. Couldn't you let her sleep here? Well, just take a seat over there. Mr. Gamberti, will you step up here, please? Why don't you take her to the municipal shelter for women? That's where they're going to send her anyway. And you'll save yourself all that red tape. They got my boy back there. He got into a fight with his teacher. Only I think he got the worst of it. Or I'd go with you. It's, it's on the Bowery, right above... Ah, oh, I used to live near there the first year I got married. Chatham Square, that's it. Look, you don't have to wait. I mean, you did your bit, you know. It's their problem now, come on. <clears throat> um... Do you think you'll be all right? I 
miss. I don't want to stay here. I never be by the police in my life. Just show me the station for the subway. Be no trouble to nobody. What I want is a bread in the corner to sleep. Tomorrow I look for another job. <laughs> My fault it takes me so long to die. It's on this block. Well, that's what the woman said above Chatham Square. Want me to keep cruising around? No. Here. I'll get out and look. Hey! Come on, I'm leaving me stuck with her. Let me to wait in case you don't find it. No, that's all the money I have. But listen, you, you could do me a tremendous favor. Yeah? I'm supposed to meet this fellow by the newsstand in front of Cooper Union. Could you possibly tell him that I'm going to be late and would he wait for me if he can? He, he's tall and he wears a hat. His name is Vito Pareto and mine is Marie Mariani. You, you'll be going that way anyway, won't you? Yeah, if I don't pick up a fare along the way. Well, if you could... Possibly. Okay? You wait right here. Sorry, I, I don't have any. <laughs> then I guess you wouldn't have a match either. Uh, you lost? Do you know where I can find the municipal shelter for women? It's supposed to be on this block. Shelter for women? <laughs> Why, sure. Come on. I'll show you. torn down about 10 years ago. Somebody must have forgot to tell you. Well, he's, you know, uh, well, I always felt he was capable of flying into such a rage. I mean, like, Someday he might just do something he wouldn't be responsible for. What do you mean he wouldn't be responsible for? Well, I mean, like they say in novels, uh, suddenly everything goes red. Have you ever seen anything go red? Me? No. Has Danny ever said he has? No. Then what do you mean not responsible for? Uh, I guess I don't express myself so well. Wait a minute. Didn't I see this kid down in the muster room about a half hour ago with an old woman and a girl? Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, you don't know my Danny. I'll go down and ask some of the others to look at it. Go ahead. The point is, do you know Danny? Look, I'm his mother. What kind of a crack is that? Mrs. Keeling, your son almost killed a man this afternoon in your apartment. A man who was your friend. And we've checked the neighborhood thoroughly, and so far we haven't found anyone who has a good word to say about your talent as a mother. Right now, your son is somewhere out there on the streets with a knife. Angry and probably dangerous. Can he talk to me like that? What we really want to know, Mrs. Keeling, is when we find him, 
Do you want him back? I've tried to be a good mother. I've tried. Sure, he was right here a little while ago. I told the girl, I told her they'd never give the old lady a place to sleep. She'd better take her right over to the municipal shelter. Did you tell him where it was? On the Bowery, near Chatham Square. That place was torn down years ago. Hey, maybe I could try and borrow some money for you, huh? Around here? Well, well I got a friend who owns a shop around the corner. Well, we, we, well, we, we played cards when we went to school, you know. Do you th think he'd be open this late? Well, he lives behind the shop. He's an artist, and it's a frame shop. You know, maybe, maybe he would lend me ten bucks, and then we could put her in a hotel or something, and then maybe you and me could. Yeah, fine, fine, yeah, all right. If if you want to try. All right. You won't go away, will you? Where would I go? Okay, I'll make it fast. Yeah, yeah. The last time I saw you, Danny boy, you were gonna get yourself a gun, so people wouldn't push you around no more. What happened? Well, I, I I didn't know where to buy one. You know. Oh, you want a gun? Join the army. <laughs> you do. You're talking to the wrong boy. Danny's a uh, reject. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I I just came here to borrow ten bucks. That don't give you the right to get personal, you know. Personal? Do you ever hear a credit investigation? Where's your credit, buddy? You got any credit cards? Danny boy, in this new frontier, if you ain't got approved credit. Well, you ain't got no identity. I don't even see you. You know what the best credit reference in the world is, Danny boy? A chick. I really mean that, honestly and sincerely. Yeah, well, th th this, th this is for a, a chick. She, she's waiting for me to take her out right now. Ten dollars on a chick? Man, you ruined the natives. No wonder we got galloping inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't need any spiritual advice, thanks. Not from you or from nobody. I, I, what I came here for, as a friend, was, was, was to borrow ten bucks from you, as a friend. Oh, look, Danny boy, l let me talk to you for a minute like a daddy, huh? Now, chicks can be a very bad habit-forming habit for a nice, clean, innocent boy like you. Now, suppose you take this here quarter and, uh, Take yourself over to the Penny Arcade Peep Show over on uh, Sixth Avenue. And, well, that's just about your speed, isn't it? I mean, come on now, be honest. You gonna pull a hole up on us, Danny? How about that? I really underestimated you. Yes, sir, you can be provoked into making hostile gestures. Just like any other red-blooded, true blue American male. Your friendly neighborhood draft board is going to have to hear about this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, get over here, will you? Let's get back in the game. Oh! to anybody, hmm? I mean, even her own kids don't want her. You'll have to get stuck with her for the rest of your life. Hey! Did you tell him? What did he say? Well, I didn't get there. Why? I picked up a fare and found myself back here. I see you're still standing there. Look, get in. I'll take you to Cooper Union without the meter. Like only crunch down low on the seat. I'm going to keep the flag down. If the cops catch me... Gee, that, that's wonderful. Hey, come on, get in! 
Hey, what are you going to do with her? This boy I'm meeting, I'm sure he'll know what to do. He's a law student. You know, he knows all about laws and everything. At least he'll be able to lend me the money for a hotel. in the face trying to help you, huh? Hey, will you shut the door? I gotta get going. Now come on, I'll make up your minds in or out. All right, now keep your heads down low. Huh? Why is that? Danny tried to borrow ten dollars from him with a knife. Said it was for a chick. Where? In my store, uh, 15 Chatham Square. Where'd he get to? Mm -hmm. Couldn't have gone very far if he uh, didn't have no money. Cruise around, see if you can pick him up. Get in touch with Adam. Tell him to meet you. Yes, sir. Uh, Chief, uh, I'd like to swear out a complaint for uh, first degree assault with intent to commit murder. Oh, you do, huh? Where did you study law? waiting here, a tall fella, about 25. It... Oh, if he got bored waiting, he might, he probably bought an English magazine. You know, the, the, the uh, Spectator or the Manchester Guardian. You didn't notice anybody in, like that in the last hour. No, nobody bought an English magazine huh? in the last hour. All right, thank you. He's not here. I don't even know if he ever showed up. You sure you had a date? What do you mean? I mean, you weren't just conning me, were you, to get me to take you here? All right. What do I owe you? Give me your address. I figured your boyfriend would come up with the fare. He's not my boyfriend, and I pay my own debts. Here. Here. You can keep that for security, for what I owe you, including a tip. Look, what are you getting so sore about? All I asked was a question. So he stood you up to your sores. I don't give you the right to act like I'm pulling a gun on you or something. Yeah, keep your lousy watch. Ain't that part of it. So what will I do here? I never saw this street in my life. How am I going to find my way home now? I thought I was trying to help you. Please, miss. I'm tired. I I'm hungry. I can't stand on my feet no more. What I do now? Makes me crazy the way you're slapping me around this way. How do I know what you're supposed to do now? I'm not your daughter. What does your daughter worry about where you're going to sleep tonight? What do you want from me? Here. Here. Take a subway and go home. Be healthy. I've got my own problems.
N nothing's the matter, Ma. I, I just wanted to know, did anybody call? You know, leave a message. No, I, I was a little late and he wasn't there, so I, I just thought he might have, you know, called the house and left a message. Um, Ma, you, you know that couch in the living room? Would that, would it be okay for somebody to sleep on that? Just for tonight? Not a boy, what boy? A little old lady, she doesn't know where she lives. No, not, not to move in, just for one night. All right, Ma. Yeah, I'll try the police. Okay, Ma. Yeah, I'll be home as soon as I can. Bye-bye. She'd love to have you, but she's not feeling very well tonight. But I know somebody who lives in this neighborhood who would be glad to put you up. My mother's old dressmaker. She's a saint when it comes to doing a favor for somebody. That boy you had the date with, he should shame himself far down deep in his throat. Not to meet a nice girl like you. He don't deserve you. That's what I think. Come on. Terribly sorry. Doesn't Mrs. Esperito live here? We live here six months. You, you don't know the people who lived here before? O old Italian lady, I think. She dead. Her husband moved away. Oh, I, I didn't know. I don't think anyone even told my parents. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for bothering you. It's all right. Thank you. Old people. You forget they're alive till you see their name on a stone. Don't throw me away in my old age. I wish you, your children, should remember you when you're old. The rate I'm going. What? <sighs> Nothing. My children won't have to wait till I'm old. By the time I have any, I'll be old. Please? I'm terribly sorry to bother you again, but could I take a look at your phone book? Oh, sure. Please, you call me. shelters on 25th and 1st. That must be right near Bellevue. Yeah, how are we going to get there without any money? Could I, um, uh, could I ask you a tremendous favor? Yes, please. Um, could you lend me two dollars for a taxi? I, I promise I'll pay it back to you tomorrow. You see, I've got to take this lady to... to... You 
Maybe you ask her for a piece plain bread. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I never thought of asking. You must be starving. <laughs> In Columbus's country, nobody ever goes hungry. <laughs> I'll stop by tomorrow evening and pay you back. I know, worry. You have good face. Thank you. Um. Thanks. I'll pay you back for that, too. Oh, no, no, no. Bread for the hungry. Afterwards, you could go for a walk together or, or something? Huh? Danny, I'm very, very tired. Why, because it's me? You wouldn't be too tired if another fellow asked you. Well, it's my cab. I'm coming along. No sign of him, Mike. You got anything? Not a buzz. Now, the first thing we got to do is concentrate on locating the girl, huh? Unless she dumped the old lady somewhere, she's bright enough that sooner or later she'll locate that shelter for women. You know where it is, don't you? 25th and 1st. Yeah. And if he's still tagging along with her, that's the place to nail him. You got it? Right. Call you from there. Right. me to Bellevue. What? Oh, so that's why you acted so nice, huh? So interested in me. Oh, sure. Get a fellow all involved and trusting, and then just when he's off his guard, whammy, you try to put him in a straitjacket. How much is my mother paying you, huh? Hey, you stop being childish. Oh, don't talk to me like that. You think I'm afraid of you, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. You do, don't you? Don't tell me you didn't like it. Oh, yes, you all like it. You act so high in money, but underneath you're just like Look, everybody else. Look, I didn't else. take you anywhere. If you want to go, go. Just make your experiments on somebody else this time, okay? Wait a minute. I liked you. I trusted you. I wanted to help you. All the time you were luring me into a trap, huh? Oh, sure, sure, I'm imagining it. Famous last words. Ruska. You spell that, please. She doesn't know how. Neither do I. Is she your mother? Would I bring my own mother to a place like this?
We spotted the kid. Adam's gone after him. Yeah. Women's shelter. All right, you. You got me into this now. I tried to help you, and now the police are waiting out there to shoot me down like an animal. But they're not going to shoot me down if the two of you are walking in front of me, are they, huh? No. Oh, I wish my mother were here. I'd love to see her face. She thought that I couldn't get myself a girl, but I got you, didn't I, huh? You stay where you are. And you, you get up there in the corner and just be quiet, nice and quiet. That's it. Come on, Grandma, let's go. I said let's go. Come on, they're gonna shoot me, they're gonna put holes in you too. This is how you talk to an older person. Shame on you. For this, people come to America. Their children should be tramps, lowlifes. They forget they had a mother. What mother? My mother's got the police waiting out there now to shoot me down like an animal. Come on, you two, you walk in front of me. I'm not fooling around anymore. Come on. Go home. What home? Go home. Stop bothering people. Stop breaking your mother's heart. You know what is a mother? She doesn't want me. Go home where you belong. Don't ask. I tell you, she doesn't want me. She wanted me dead even before I was born. She, she, she's not a mother, she's a... There's no such thing as a bad mother or a good dad. Eight million stories in the naked city. This has been one of them.
a Screen Gems film presentation from Columbia Pictures, produced by Herbert B. Leonard.